What if I drag it? Ah, look at this. That's cool. Okay, that's what we should have done in the first place. <laughs> All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Foundation. Now, this is a game that is kind of reminding me, anyway, a little bit of a game that I like, where I built the Kingdom of Toast, or rather, we built the Kingdom of Toast together, so I'm hoping we can do that today in Foundation. Let us begin. All right, so the first task is to acquire new land. It looks like we've got a few different options where these hexes are. This one is a giant mountain. We could build a mountain fortress. I don't know if I'm able to like acquire new. Ooh, I kind of like this one, but it's low on trees. That one's on, let's see. Okay, and we've reached the edge of the known world. So I'm gonna go over here to one of these valleys seems pretty good. Our first bit of land is free. The first one's free, but you'll be able to buy more later. So choose wisely. That one's got lots of trees, mushrooms, rocks. That one's got a lot of mushrooms and a decent amount of trees. Let's see if the other ones are able to compete. All right, so see this mountain? I want to buy this in the future. So I'm thinking we go here. We're going to acquire this land. So now we got to place our village center. Um, I'm thinking like right here. So here's the interesting thing. You may notice how there's no houses that you can build, right? However, there is the Lord's Manor. But we can build a residential area. So I'm gonna build that around them. And this is really cool. Look how cool this is. And they just go start to build right away, I think. All right, they've, they, we've got four different houses for the four villagers, right? All right, we did the zoning and we got the good luck. So now we're gonna go ahead and undo that. And we're gonna make everybody builders right now. So what we're gonna do is just click on our boys here. There we go. Oh my gosh, we actually had more than four people. I guess that does make sense. All right, so now I'm thinking, do we want a woodcutter camp? A gathering camp sounds like it produces food. Produce, yeah, like mushrooms and apples. So I'm gonna put it over here next to these berries. So we just went, here we go. Let's get another person, turn them into a builder. And hopefully they run off and build this. Oh yeah, I guess what we gotta do is now we gotta build the extraction zone. There we go. That seems pretty good. And we've built our first houses. So let's go ahead and right click. And then I think we're gonna want a woodcutter camp. Maybe that's the issue is we're out of wood. We'll put it right on the edge of civilization here. Woodcutter camp. Now they're gonna have to go build that. And then that's gonna be an extraction zone as well. So we're gonna create this, this area here. We want to cut, and we'll, we'll uh, empty this area out of the trees first so that we can expand the village over there. And I think this should be good. It's just a matter of no- whoop. That was accidental. Is nobody seems to be working on the gatherer. Maybe I need to- Let's make you a gatherer. Time to speed it up so we get these resources. Woodcutter camp is complete. We'll go back to normal time. Now everybody's like hiding. Let's build you- let's make you a woodcutter. Aha! He's finally going to cut. I thought I may have done something wrong, but don't tell anybody. Alright, so now let's go to- let's get two woodcutters. I'm- I'm surprised as to why nobody is building my gathering outpost, which is- which is not good, given we're gonna need some food. Alright, but we do have two woodcutters. Let's go ahead and check our villagers list. So Edith has no job. I want you to be a master builder. Good lord. Oh, there we go. The issue was we were low on wood, so we weren't able to produce it. Even though there's this box of, like, wooden crates. Aha! Yes, okay, so we did the right thing by getting the raw wood. Now, as far as other buildings we can build, a sawmill, a stonecutter camp. Stone would probably be good. Market, gathering. So we're gonna have food coming in, eventually. Yeah, look at that. It's it's almost done. We've got four houses. I could always expand the residential zone maybe a little bit. See if they build more. And then we'll we'll do this as an extraction area. And there we go. We'll do that. And then I, I want might as well build a stone cutter camp. Alright, so I've got if you look over here, my villagers list, we got two builders. Let's see, four woodcutters, three builders, and a gatherer. The gatherer's not working just yet, but the the weekly goal here is to get 500. Two new villagers have joined your village. Excellent. So, how do we buy new territory, right? That would be an interesting question. I'm imagining we're gonna need some of these. Uh, used for stocking resources and trading build right taxes? A well! Provides water to the villagers. Let's do that. Let's build a nice little well. Where do we want it? Like right here at the crossroads? Alright, we've got a well. 
Now let's speed things up. There we go. The gathering camp is now completed and we've got our berry farmer, or rather mushroom farmer here. <laughs> so how much stone do we have? Where are my resources exactly? Got wood and tools. I, I'm assuming this is going to further expand the more resources we have. This is still in the process of being built. We got five out of five tools, we just need more wood. And I believe we've got four woodcutters, so we should be getting it. Wood seems to be the limiting resource for our expansion. I'm wondering if I make another woodcutter camp. If that'll expedite things? I don't think so. Ah, we need 12 newcomers to build a Lord's Manor. Um, market gathering and a gathering camp. Sells gathered food to villagers. Maintenance cost. Two, what is that? Two gold? I'm thinking of building a market right here. That way, like, the food's purchased from here, and then it's sold right here next to the farm. I mean, this is farm-to-table type stuff, so you know it's gonna be good. I think I just spit on my monitor <laughs> when I said so. I'm wondering if we'll be able to build walls and castles. Locked. We need one surf. How do you get surfs? You probably need... No job. Lillian's got no job. I would like you to be a gatherer, Lillian. Please gather us the mushrooms. Now, I'm sure there's gotta be farms. I wanna make toast so badly. We're gonna need to, what, grow wheat, make windmills? Now, I'm, I'm very curious as to why this... I guess it's just taking a little bit of time. Because... The wood's low? And they're using the wood on other resources? What is that? Oh, he's building a house. No job for Kuningade. Let's build and make you a builder. There we go, the stone, or actually... We're going to be a stone cutter. So they they build the houses as they come in. Let's check our residential zoning. Yeah, there's definitely room to expand. And actually, I'm going to expand that. And look at this, this is our kingdom. We're at negative 100? Uh, assign available villager. Let's get, let's do what? Let's make one of, Herman. You're going to be the market tender. There we go, Herman's the market tender. I wonder if that's gonna boost our income. Oh look, we're finally in the positives. Wait, I just got a I just got a yellow warning. I wonder if that was like, hey, nobody oh waiting for a builder. Okay. Once the well's done, maybe someone needs to operate that. But we do have market tenders, we've got woodcutters, Victoria and Antonia are not working as they are the builders, and we've got no projects for them, and I, I kinda want a project now. We could build a warehouse. Over here. Oh my, that's that's rather sizable. Yeah, I'm gonna build a warehouse. I mean, why not? There we go, we are it. We are finally making money. Unlock a trade route. Oh, so once we- Oh, Once we get to a weekly profit of 500, we're gonna be able to unlock a trade route? I've got the warehouse. Oh, a sawmill. I don't have a sawmill just yet. I could produce that. Somewhere over in the industrial district is kind of like what's going on over here. Which is also next to the food. I wonder if I should have put that right next to it, just to limit. But I mean, eventually we're gonna we're gonna get all the resources out of here. What is that? Stone? I wonder if that's just stone or the the cliff face, the mountainside. But my goal is to build a castle on top of this mountain that all the realm will look at and envy. Why are they unhappy? Has lack berries recently? Has lack water recently? Oh, probably because there's no one working this. Provides water to the villagers. Okay, yeah, yeah. It should- they should be boosting happiness as, like, they were just left without water for a while. <laughs> but now I think it's, uh, it's getting fixed. The market, the stone cutters, the sawmill. Aha! A village is upgrading its house? Huh. I wonder if there's gonna look- if it's gonna look different. Cause I don't- I don't see anything. Maybe it's the windows? That he added a window? No, some of them do have windows. Some of them don't. No, I don't- I don't think that would be it. Alright. Uh, let's see. Waiting for builder. House details. House level 2. House is upgrading. Authorizing. Yeah, I authorize that. I give my... You know, royal decree that you may upgrade your house. But who's building this? Victoria is assigned to the construction. I wonder if it's gonna be roofs. Ah, so here we go. Here, here's the villagers' needs, right? So they need to eat, they need to drink water, and they need to sleep. And I, I'm pretty sure that we're providing all of that, and we're actually making a nice profit. But nobody's building this. Now, is that because we're low on wood? We've got 44 wood. 
You can see we've got zero stone. Do we have no stone cutters? I believe we do. I think, yeah, there, there's, he's mining away at the stone. I want to see a visual difference in these houses. Two new villagers have joined the village. Excellent. So, I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna see them walk off screen or if they're just gonna appear in the middle. Let's see. Because right now you can see on my villagers list that they're not there. Yet. Right? Oh! Is that them? Nope. That's a woodcutter. Yeah, I, I don't know where they're at. But, they decided maybe they're like somewhere on the map. That'd be really cool if they came in like, you know, on horses or camels or something like that. In a caravan. Like a little car caravan of, uh, of settlers. New peasants to work. Alright, so I think it's time to get a sawmill. Oh, there is wall building. There is gonna be wall building. Oh, here we go. No? Not yet. Oh, we unlocked a building. We can finally build the Lord's Manor because we got new two new people. We've got Hans, 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 und Walter. Welcome. So these guys are coming from the Germanys. Now, what do we want to do? Let's... We could put one as a stone cutter. And then the other one, I think maybe just like a builder right now, but we do have idle people. They do have to build their houses first. Let's make you a builder, but now I think with these two extra people I can build a sawmill. I want the sawmill over here, in the face of the mountain. I like that, because I'm curious if a path will spring up. Because you can see how the city center is starting to arise and the houses are kind of surrounding it. Um, I'm still not seeing those... Waiting for builder, do I have to... Ah, who live here? Now, how do I... Prioritize the building construction. Ah, okay. I'm gonna prioritize it just to see if we don't get this new house. And then I want to build the Lord's Manor. Oh! Building a part... Building part count. Minimum of three. Villager capacity zero. Has a door. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Wow, what is this? Look at this, this is the Lord's house, the core. This is gonna be weird. Where do we build the Lord's house, over here? I don't know, man, that, that seems pretty confusing. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, we need 20 planks in order to unlock a trade route. Let's do that. So we're gonna have to create the sawmill, which is being constructed right now. And it's almost done. Sawmill's done, boys. All right, now who is going to be the sawmill? Volta, you shall be my carpenter. You have a new quest. Build a mana. All right. Let's build a... Whoa. Thought we froze. I'm gonna build it right here centrally. So we have enough room. This is the treasury. Look at this. This is interesting. All right, so... If I build... I gotta build the door. We definitely gonna need a door. We've got the door. We want a chimney for this bad boy. He's got a... He's got the chimney. The Lord's banner. Where does this go? Extension A. <laughs> This looks kind of silly, but this is our Lord's Manor. Um, build a Lord Manor. I, I think that's what we're... Let's see. Lord Banner, decorative tree. What? This is weird. How do I... I wonder if I could have built this bigger? Oh, <gasps> look at that! I could build a longhouse. You know what, let's just start construction on it. Now that's gonna take forever to build. But I, I think it's fine. Now, how many how many wooden planks do I got? I've got zero planks. We do have a carpenter. Let's go check in on Volta. Volta, how are you doing over here? Are you are you making? Where are you? Follow villager. He's in there, and he is carpentering. So we need ten in order to open up a new trade route, so that we can get to a new land. And Tony is bringing three tools. Now, who's building the tools? And look at how long this warehouse is taking. We'll try to increase the priority once again. We've got, we've got two built, three builders, and everybody's happy um, because they have shelter, berries, and water. I hope we have enough people gathering. And then the, the Lord Manor is being built. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, your villager has reached a new status of serf. Who's the serf? And now we've got five more buildings. We've got all- oh, there it is, the- we got a church. So, our first quest is to build a church, to give faith to this region. Oh no, here we go, we can put the church out here on this hill. We're gonna build a tower. <laughs> I want it, I want it. Here we go, what if I drag it? Ah, look at this! That's cool, okay, that's what we should have done in the first place. Ha! <laughs> That's really easy now that I think about it. Alright, so extension. We've got the extension there, making it look really, really weird. 
We'll put the cross. Where do we put the cross? Oh, on top of it. What if I want it? What if I want it on top of my tower? We can put a gargoyle? I can only seem to put them on the extensions. So here's something interesting. I can only put... I'm only able to put the door over here. <laughs> like, why? Here, let, let's try to- let's try to do more extensions. That's a window one. Extension A. Looks- it looks cooler and cooler, but if we can't freaking fit a door on it. Well, that's the entrance to the church. We shall start construction. Oh my god, we have four people with no jobs. How about builder? How about a gatherer? Sigismund. Ooh. Can make you a farmer in Oswald. Uh, ooh, man, oh man, oh man. So, do the houses look different to you yet? They don't really look different to me. So, we're building a church. We're building the Lord's Manor, which is rather basic. Um, but those are the quests that we were given, so that is what we want to do. Now, as far as, do I have the ten planks yet? How do I not have ten planks when we have a carpenter? Carpenter. Walter, be a carpenter, will ya? Old chap, make me proud. Give me some planks so I can open up trade routes. I mean, how do we not- we have- how many woodcutters? I'm gathering wood, I'm gathering wood. We've completed another house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight houses right now, guys. Eight houses. A church going up. A village is upgrading his house, but maybe they're putting, like, toilets in there or something. You know, like, holes in the- in the ground. I want a farm. But I figured it's gonna tell me to, like, do certain things and then... You know, level up that way. Oh my god, we finally finished the warehouse. Sigismund is the transporter. Maybe that'll help. Oh my gosh, we just unlocked three new buildings. We have decorative trees and fences. Oh, look at this. Sheep harm, weaver hut, road sign, and something else. Six villagers? What do you mean? I have- I have plenty of villagers. Now we got two new people. Alright, I, I put two carpenters. We- we still have no planks. We also have no stone. Oh, here's gonna be new. We're gonna be able to farm field, and then there's forbidden land. Nobody will walk on Lord's land. Is that- am I supposed to put that over here? Oh, gosh. Look at the, <laughs> This is funny. This stupid chimney. Two new villagers are joining. We are going to need food very soon. I wonder where, like... Ah. We need to unlock the trade route, but there we go. We finally have two... Planks. I think the planks are just being used is the issue, so we have no excess. Now, oh, look at that. Whoa! 108? Maybe that's where all, all, all the planks are going there? Alright, I see, because I want to open up this access to Davenport. I don't know why, I just know <laughs> that's what I want to do. Uh, yep, farm, windmill, and bakery. We have everything else. So how big is this farm? See, I almost feel like I should just have a huge farming district, like, right here. We're- we're running out of land relatively quickly, guys. I could put it over here, maybe. But I don't- I don't know how the farm works. Oh my gosh, two new people keep joining. We- we have so many new people joining. How on earth do we open up a new area? Like... I'm literally running out of room here. I'm gonna have to try to build a farm over here, I think. Oh, here we go. Look at that! So, upgrading the house, we've got like a little water basin, maybe a bathtub kind of a thing. We've got these little outcroppings. They've got like lumber. So, it's, it seems to be the things around the house. They've got little tables. Those are the ways that you upgrade your houses in this game. A fully dynamic village is something that I'm very excited to see. Just kind of how it evolves and develops over time. But I think that our village is, is coming along rather nicely. I'm very excited for this farm to be constructed. We're waiting on tools. How do- how does one get tools, truly? Two new villagers joining, so how many villagers do we have? Overall happiness is 77. We've got 22 people. Eight days. Detail of next immigration. Happiness of 76. Raise time of 31%. Interesting. I think we're doing pretty good. I want that farm to be completed. Our church is taking forever, and so is the Lord's Manor. Because we're missing tools. I'm not sure how we produce tools. Oh, wow. You need 500 gold to unlock neighboring territories. My first thing I would do is probably unlock this one and start a new gathering outpost. Get some resources and farm this side right here. So that's... I want to buy that land, but I can't on the territory. The budget. Oh, wow. Now they want bread. 
Well, maybe if you build my farm, we can grow some freaking bread. But we're out of tools. Oh my god. We have so many people popping into this area. This is becoming crazy. We and it's only two newcomers and 22 serfs. Woodcutter cannot find resource in the extraction zone? Oh my. Oh, that would explain it. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness? Get back here, you fool! There we go! We finally have 59 planks. Let's see if we can't unlock this trade route now. Huzzah! Woo! Cuss completed. Unlock a trade route. Selling? I don't want to sell tools. I want to buy tools. Trading resources. Oh, here we go. So what do we have excess? We have a ton of what? Wood? We could sell that. We have- we're very short on food. Sell planks? I don't know. Guess we'll try that and see what happens. We're still trying to build the church, still trying to build the manor. I'm confused as to why... I think maybe we were just running out of wood? But we have ample amounts of builders. And look at this, has lack of berries, lack of berries. Guys, we are- we're running low on food. I should probably... get more gatherers. To fix this. Look at these berries. Can't keep enough. And nobody's producing stone or we're just using it. Two new villagers? Tell them to stop! Tell them I don't need them! I mean, I, I need them to build things, but they're not building things. We're gonna run out of wood real soon. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We can buy one. Buy this land for free? Alright, I'm gonna buy this. Yes! Alright. Whoa, how, how am I all of a sudden able to buy all this land for free? This is crazy. Alright, I'm gonna buy these two areas. Oh, I can't. Ah, now it's telling me for 500. That's really interesting. I didn't know we could buy one. I think we've done enough. So what we're gonna do is produce a woodcutter camp out here. Look, someone just left, decided to leave. And then I wanna get, uh, create a gathering camp over here. Alright, so with the new land, maybe I shouldn't produce the farm here. It just got stopped. I don't know how to make tools. So we've expanded into new territory, guys. We've got a pretty humble beginnings for a village. There are ways to build castle walls. Um, weaver huts and sheep farms. I really, really want, uh, a sheep farm. We're currently trying to produce the Lord's Manor and the church. It seems that the church is taking precedent over both the farm, which is almost done, and the Lord's Manor. But if you guys want to see another episode of Foundation, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video where hopefully the Kingdom of Toast continues to thrive. Maybe we shouldn't have tried both at the same time because it's splitting our resources. Let me know if you have any pro tips and if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.